the main challenge of renewables is that sometimes the sun is not shining and sometimes the wind is not blowing or sometimes there is a lot of variation in the output of the wind and sometimes there is a cloud covering the sun and that is causing intermittency. Energy storage, uh, it sounds great and it would be great if we had it. And of course it's possible to store energy which you harvest during the daytime with a, a solar panel and then use it during the night with a battery or so. But long term storage, even say in time spans of a week or even a season that is prohibitively costly at the moment, like, like we don't have systems for that yet. And, uh, it would be nice if we had them, but at the moment I think we still have to rely on using net seal gas as a backup fuel. New power plants can start and stop very quickly. When you need them, they have to be able to provide full energy within a couple of minutes. When you don't need them anymore, they should be able to stop in a minute or so. Uh, when you have uh, some problems with forecasting the load, they have to be able to ramp up very fast and very fast down. Those are the characteristics of the modern power plants which are needed in times when you have a lot of renewables in the system. Okay. Say, at the moment it is close to impossible to have 100% renewables. But a lot more than what we have currently in the system is possible if you have the proper, say, supporting power plants in the system. And, and th so that's the future. We need the proper technology to integrate more renewables. And I think that is the future for the coming decades.